Hi, my name is Brandon Burnham, and I'm the lead pastor here at Free Point Church, and I wanted to personally welcome you to our live stream. It's not by accident that you decided to tune in. God has an amazing word for you today. We pray that you are blessed by the message. Hi, my name is Brandon Burnham, and I'm the lead pastor here at Free Point Church, and I wanted to personally welcome you to our live stream. It's not by accident that you decided to tune in. God has an amazing word for you today. We pray that you are blessed by the message. If you have your Bible today, uh, if you will get it out, turn it on. If you're, you have the dig, a digital Bible or if you have paper Bible, turn it out. We're going to begin today in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. When you get there, say, you're looking at the new me. Well, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 5, verse 17. The Bible says this. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things, somebody say all. all, all things have become new. Man, when a person gets born again, when a person puts their faith in Jesus Christ, it's beyond just them saying a prayer. It's beyond just them, I don't know, coming to an altar and someone laying hands on them. When a person puts their faith in Jesus and yields their heart to his lordship and invites him into their heart and into their life, they really do become a brand new person, a brand new creature. You really, really, you really, really do. Come on. We should be having more fun as a Christian than we ever did as a sinner. That's the truth. Listen, if you're not having fun as a Christian, you ain't doing it right. You ain't. I promise you. Listen, depression has been broken off your life. Anxiety has been broken off your life. Come on. You are, you've been made, adopted as a child of the living God. That's something to get excited about. That's something to dance about. Come on. Woo, Jesus. Jesus, come on. See, the, but the young people need to know this. That's why they don't want to come to church. Come on. They say, man, that's boring. I don't want to go to church. No, they're boring. We just haven't been living it out in front of you like, like we should. This, this, is, this is true life. This is abundant life. Jesus came. He said the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy in John 10.10. 10. He said, but I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. If you dance before you were saved, you should dance more abundantly after you got saved. Come on, somebody. Come on. Maybe not the same kind of dance, but God will give you a new dance. Come on, somebody. All things new. Come on. If you shouted before you got saved, we should shout more abundantly after we get saved. I mean, this is a, this is the abundant life. But here we read that. That old things pass away and all things have become new. When I encounter a living God at 15, and then after the pastor of that church prayed for me and prophesied over my life that I was going to preach the gospel, man, I, I just collapsed under the power of God. And when, when I got up out of that floor, everything was different. Like everything was there. I could tell. I could tell all the pain, the pain was gone, the hurt of the past, come on, all the guilt, the shame, the condemnation, all that. It, it was just gone. I felt clean. Come on. I felt pure. I felt, I felt loved. And then when I got up and I opened my eyes, I saw life look different. People look different. When I went home, nothing had changed in my home, but things looked different. And it becomes God made all things new. Amen. And that's what we're celebrating today. Uh, people have given their hearts to Jesus Christ. God has made all things new in their life. And they're making their public profession of their faith through water baptism. Let's look at another verse here. Galatians 2.20, one of my favorite verses of Scripture. As you're turning there, look at the person next to you and say, it's my birthday. 
I've been born again. The Bible says here, I have been crucified with Christ. And it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives within me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God. See, that's where it changes. My life now, I'm dead, right? I died to myself. When I gave my life over to Jesus, the old sinful Brandon, come on. The old Brandon who was hooked on pornography. The, the old Brandon who was bashful and bound with fear. The old Brandon died with Christ. He was crucified with Jesus. And he was buried with Jesus. And I, I was resurrected a brand new person in Christ. And so my faith is shifted. No longer has my faith been in Brandon and Brandon's abilities and what other people could or might or don't do for me. But now my faith is in a God who loves me. Come on. Who's for me. Who causes all things to work together for my good. Who protects me. Who provides for me. Who heals me. His name is my fortress. I run to it and I find safety. Come on. His spirit in me is this power. This resurrection power. That causes me to live above every negative circumstance and causes me to go through every storm and every trial and every fire untouched and without smelling like smoke. Come on. My faith now is in Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the only life. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise like you mean it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You may be thinking, how can that man have that much energy? How many espresso shots has he had this morning? To be honest, I didn't even get to finish my whole cup of coffee because of the quadruple duties this morning. You know what I'm saying? Our worship pastor, by the way, if you're new, we have an awesome worship pastor. Way more skilled than I am. Okay, come back next week. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, so he, he's out of town with family. So uh, anyway, I got to serve in that capacity day, and I love it, though. I love it. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's not the coffee, man. There's just, it's the spirit of the living God. And it's not because there's not things that my wife and I are, are going through. Come on. But praise the Lord, we decided we're going to go through stuff. We're not going to stop, pitch a tent, build a house, and stay there. We're not going to cry and boo-hoo and whine and complain and murmur, praise God. But we realize that we're going to do 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17. We're going to rejoice always. We're going to pray without ceasing. And in all things, we're going to give thanks. Why? Because He causes all things to work together for our good. Because if God be for us, who in this world can be against us? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if I don't have joy, it's because I've decided to give it away. <laughs> hey! Come on, my faith is in Jesus. Hallelujah. I made a decision. I'm not going to give my joy away. No matter what fiery dart comes my way, baby. No matter what giant stands in front of us. The giant becomes our bread. The fiery dart just becomes more energy and more power for us to give God the glory. Satan is forever defeated. Forever to the born again believer. And that's what we're celebrating today. Amen. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's talk about baptism in water. The baptism in water is an outward expression of an inward work. This is why we do this. All right. This doesn't bring salvation to anyone's life to get dunked in water. If you haven't confessed Jesus as Lord and put your faith in him and yielded your life to his, then you're just taking a bath, baby. Right. But this is an expression. This is an expression of what has already happened. This doesn't save you. This says I have already been saved. So when people get baptized today, it's them saying, 
I have been saved. I have given my life to Jesus. The old me has died, has been crucified, buried with Christ. And I have been resurrected with Christ, a brand new person. That's what the water signifies. We go underwater signifying the death, burial, and resurrection, our death, burial, and resurrection with Jesus. And then we come up out of the water signifying that we've been resurrected with Christ and we are a brand new person in Him. Let's give God praise for that. This is amazing. I'm so glad that you tuned in to the message today. I pray that God's Word produces much fruit in your life. You know, God is doing amazing things through this church, and I would love for you to prayerfully consider getting involved. You can go to our website, freepointchurch.community, and see all the amazing opportunities to get involved with what God is doing here at Free Point Church. Also on our website, there is a form for prayer requests. We would love to pray with you, pray for you concerning the desires of your heart. If you would like to get involved here at Free Point by giving financially, you can do that as well on our website. We are excited about God's beautiful plan for your life and look forward to connecting with you again at our next online service. God bless you.